Welcome back to Waters Ironworks. We are doing another book review today. Today we're going to be talking about the Master Mirror Find. Uh, it's a Viking Age tool chest from Gotland. Um, so this, uh, if, if you're kind of curious about the area, Gotland is in northern Europe in the Baltic Sea. It's a Swedish island today, um, sitting in between Sweden and uh, Estonia and Lithuania, kind of north of um, Germany, uh, in that ocean that goes from the Atlantic through kind of Northern Europe up to Russia. Um, it, it's, you know, obviously got a long history like all of Europe does. And during the Viking age, um, there was a, a blacksmith, probably sort of an itinerant blacksmith who would travel from location to location, repairing items uh, that was traveling along a bog. And his tool chest got lost in the bog. Uh, how exactly that happened is, is hard to determine. There's a couple sort of leading theories. Um, he might have been on a boat crossing the bog and the tool chest fell overboard. It may be that it was winter and instead of a boat, they were actually um, using sleighs or skis or something to move across the surface and the tool chest fell through. It's possible also, you know, riding a horse or taking a cart along the edge of the bog and you know, off the tool chest goes down into the muck. Um, so definitely a, a bit of a tragedy, probably a pretty substantial tragedy for the, the poor blacksmith who lost his toolbox. But it has been a wealth of information for modern historians and modern blacksmiths who are interested in Viking age blacksmithing. And that's really the 793 to 1066 period um, that we're talking about. It's hard to date exactly um, when this tool chest was lost. The box that it was being carried in was definitely an older box, so it wasn't brand new. It looks like it had been repurposed. So the box itself could have been um, a fair bit, uh, had a fair age on it before the blacksmith lost it. What it really gives us, though, is this um, almost unique insight into what a blacksmith in the time period would have had as far as tools goes and the sort of work that they would have been doing. We're able to take a look at, you know, kind of his whole kit um, of tools. And this book, um, it, it's a tiny little book, 88 pages long or so, uh, but it covers everything that was in that tool chest. And if you are interested, again, in this Viking age, uh, which I am, which a lot of blacksmiths are, and you want to reproduce some of those items, this is exactly the book uh, that you need. We'll toss up on the, the screen, a uh, look at what this box looked like so you can see it. It was a fairly substantial box. Um, it held a wide variety of items. One of the items that I personally think was most interesting, and we'll toss a picture of this up as well, is this fire grate. I just think it's kind of cool. It is something that I want to recreate uh, and will be doing so hopefully uh, pretty soon. But this is a grate that would have been used to hold uh, fire up off the ground so that it could be used as a light source while you're blacksmithing or doing other activities uh, in the evening. Um, it seems a little crazy to me. I, I kind of want to test it out and, and see how well it works. It is, uh, as you can see from the photo, just some bars Going across, you stack some firewood, probably some fat wood or something like that on it, and get a fire going, and all the ash and all the cinders from those logs just fall down onto the ground. Um, it seems a little terrifying, right? Especially if you imagine these people in either wood or thatched roof uh, buildings lifting this fire up off the ground and, you know, potentially singeing the, the ceiling and then just you know, fire coming down, raining down uh, from the bottom of this thing. Um, you know, but to, to me that, that sounds crazy, uh, but it would be interesting to see how this works, right? Uh, ancient people and, and people in the past, they weren't, they weren't dumb, they weren't stupid, they weren't maybe less educated than us, they, they had less science to go off of, uh, but they did things for a reason and, and that was normally because they worked. So I'm extremely interested to try this out and you guys will see that in a, a future video. Um, going through the rest of the book though, it's the, the hammers, the anvils, uh, which were all pretty small um, and a wide variety of other tools. Um, 
and projects that this blacksmith was working on, one of the things that I did find pretty interesting was just how common forge welding is in a lot of these items, even items that were relatively small. And today, uh, nobody would be forge welding these things together. It looks like the, you know, a, a little piece would be made out of three or four smaller pieces. Um, that is probably because wrought iron is, is a bit easier to forge weld. Um, and iron was more expensive, so repurposing, recycling uh, iron into new works was definitely a, an essential skill. So how do I rank this, rate this book? Um, for the right person, this is an invaluable book. I gave it a four uh, for my overall ranking out of five stars. Um, if you're a beginner blacksmith, even if you're an advanced blacksmith, unless you are interested in um, recreating or being inspired by, by Viking Age ironwork, skip this book, right? This is not an instruction book. You are not going to learn new techniques uh, or anything along those lines. Um, what this is, is uh, a historical look um, at this, this toolkit. So if you're looking for inspiration, specifically inspiration in what a Viking Age blacksmith would have had, five out of five stars, um, you're not gonna find a better book out there. If you are looking for historical information, uh, five out of five stars, right? It's a small book, but there is a lot of detail in here um, and you're not gonna go wrong if this is a period that you're interested in and picking up this book. I highly recommend it for anybody who's interested in authentic Viking Age blacksmithing and the sort of items that a blacksmith would have had. So hopefully this is helpful. We will take a look at another um, book about blacksmithing in this same time period next week uh, that does not get quite such a high rating, but I will see you guys then. Thanks so much and happy forging.